Georgia continues to recover from the surge in new COVID-19 cases that happened around the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Caitlin Heck breaks down the progress across the state and in some of our central Georgia counties in tonight's COVID curve. In January, Georgia cut its average daily case count almost in half. Let's start with a closer look at the statewide case curve using data from the Department of Public Health. This latest peak topped out at an average of 7,213 new cases a day, but in less than three weeks, case counts dropped to nearly half of that. Right before the state's two-week preliminary window, Georgia averaged 4,120 new cases. That also drops Georgia to levels below what we saw in the peak over the summer, with an average of 4,463 at its highest point in July. So, of course, the question is, will cases continue to drop this quickly? Well, the data does slightly level off going into the preliminary window, so we'll continue to watch these numbers closely as the state collects more test results from the end of January to now. Some central Georgia counties like Bibb and Houston also saw significant drops in their case curves last month. Bibb County's numbers never passed July's peak of 112 new cases a day. But starting in mid-January, Bibb went from 106 new cases a day down to 51 right before the preliminary window. Houston County also cut its average case count in half from an all-time high of 104 new cases on the first of the year to just 48 cases a day by the end of the month, which finally puts Houston's average below July's peak of 51. Now, most central Georgia counties show drops in their case counts. Baldwin's latest numbers show quite the opposite, though, with numbers steadily climbing starting in mid-January. Baldwin averaged 16 new cases a day before the preliminary data window, and you can see the increase already continues in that territory. Now, between continued vaccination efforts and discovery of new COVID-19 variants, there are still a lot of factors in play. And while we're seeing improvements overall, health officials still urge people to follow safety measures like wearing a mask and social distancing to keep these numbers heading in the right direction. I'm Caitlin Heck, 13 WMAZ News. On to today's COVID-19 report, Georgia Department of Health logged roughly 2,500 new cases. That's a big drop from several days last month when we were adding more than 6,000 cases per report. The number of daily deaths and hospitalizations also down. Health officials reported 35 more Georgians died and 86 more went to the hospital due to COVID-19 complications.